and in YouTube. Another wild situation. Let's get right into this. So about a week ago, right, I was watching No Jumper because C-Mac was on there, man. Free C-Mac. Because usually I don't watch No Jumper anymore ever since AD and the fellas left. But uh, anyways, so this clip I was watching, well, it's actually a live video, live premiere, whatever the case is. And Swamp Stories got brought up. C-Mac was talking about him and Swamp Stories collaborating on some YouTube videos to help the homeless, to go and assist the people in need, and which is great, you know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, shout out to C-Mac, he always doing things like that. And Swamp Stories, I guess, is trying to merge into that lane, which is cool too, you know, even though a lot of people, me being one of them, really don't mess with Swamp Stories like that. And I'm gonna keep it real though. Swamp Stories, he's a great content creator, homie. Swamp Stories, he puts out, you know, the way he puts his videos together, the way he, uh, you know, he's able to tell a story and put a story together off of the little bit of information that people give him. It's it's a skill within itself, bro, for real. So, you know, I can't knock him on that. But according to C-Mac, I guess, you know, he the way C-Mac alluded to that Swamp Stories was willing to do a face reveal, go into these maybe some of the neighborhoods that he did videos on and give back to those communities. Now, if Swamp Stories did that, I think it will work out for him in the long run. You know, I think people will, you know, not, people won't forget, but they will kind of forgive because of, you know, he's turning a new leaf. It seems like, according to this clip I'm about to show you guys. Let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and watch the clip and we'll talk a little bit more about it after. Swamp Stories, uh, he hit me up on Instagram sometime. He, he does want to come out and do some shit on homeless and shit. Uh, but he, he's yet to show his face. Uh, he said he's gonna come out and do some shit with the homeless sometime. He, he said he wants that. to do no jumper, but he's, he's a little scared to show his face. I don't know why. Probably just doesn't want so a bunch you, of Nortenos to kill him. He doesn't want so a bunch you, of Nortenos to kill him. He doesn't want so a bunch you, of Nortenos to kill him. Some of the stuff in those videos I know has upset some people. So if there's anybody that's not gonna show their face, I mean, I feel like it would be pretty smart on his part. <laughs> oh, you think people are like, gonna see mad at Carl? Definitely some people have been mad at him in the past. So now that you guys seen what I was talking about, what is your guys' input on it? What do you guys think? Should Swamp Stories do a face reveal? And why is Adam22 saying the North Daniels want to get at, you know what I'm saying, Swamp Stories? You know, we all know Swamp Stories, well, we believe Swamp Stories to be from Northern California. And the reason that being is his very first logo that he had for his channel was... The Bay Bridge or the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, um, along with some Bay Area hip hop legends. Mac Dre, the Jacka, rest in peace. Mac Dre, rest in peace. I think he had 40 up there and somebody else I can't remember. It might have been Mr. Fab, Fabby Davis Jr. But correct me if I'm wrong, I believe some of his first stories were based out of Northern California neighborhoods. Now, do the North Daniels want to get, you know, Swamp Stories? Do they want to smack them? Now, that's, that's, it depends. What, what did he say? What, what, what type of videos was he putting out? He done put out so many videos about so many people. You know, a lot of people probably want to. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been told that Swamp Stories might be or is affiliated with Northanios. That he's from Northern California and he's affiliated with Northerners. How true is that? We got to take it with a grain of salt. You never know. You feel me? There was some information that he put in there as regards to the North versus South video that was completely inaccurate. And I kind of think he did that on purpose, you know, just to get the Northerners riled up to get because, you know, the more comments in a video comments on YouTube are equivalent to likes, bro. The more likes, the better your video does. The more comments, the better your video does, regardless of what the comment says. So, you know, he knows this. I know this. Other content creators know this. And so sometimes these content creators do things in their videos or say things in the videos that are controversial just to get people to comment. You feel what I'm saying? You guys following me? So, you know, the things that he said about Nathaniel's, I feel some, he might he might have did it on purpose. Just to, you know, piss people off and get them commenting. Man, F you, Swamp Stories, this and that. You feel me? If you get a thousand people in your comments saying F you about you, your channel, and your video, that video is more than likely going to do pretty well. You feel me? Just based on those comments. Now, someone asked, do the Northanios really want to get at 
Swamp stories, do they got a hit on them? Dude, like, first, if, if there was, I'm not going to get on here and say anything like that because that's just dumb. Like, you feel me? You think I'm stupid? Like, you mean? like no. You think I want to get whacked? Like, no, nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, <laughs> nah, um, if Swamp stories, Swamp stories, if you're watching this video, bro, check this out. If you were planning on doing what you were doing with C-Mac, I think that would be highly respectful. Everyone... Every video that you put out, you know, I mean, you can't go to every neighborhood because you done did some videos on some pretty dangerous neighborhoods. But for the most part, let's do let's say California first. All the neighborhoods that you done did videos on in Cal within California or just do Southern California or Northern California, whatever Fresno, because you did some things on the Bulldogs too. TRG, you did, you know, you did a kind of, all you practically you practically touched every gang in California, bro. Swamp Stories. If you were to go to each neighborhood that you did a video on and did something great for that community in that hood, in those videos, on those blocks, in those streets, in those territories, and you gave back to those people and that community, I think that would be turning a new leaf for you, Swamp Stories. I think you should do that before you start, you know, doing face reveals and things like that. Because, you know, you can go and do great things for the community without showing your face. You can record it. You can do this. But you can be the man behind the camera as well as, you know, trying to clear your image up when it comes to these neighborhood dudes. You feel what I'm saying? You could go back to these communities. And I think that would be respected on a whole new level. Like, yeah, he made some videos about the hood. Yeah. But look, he's doing a toy drive this Christmas. Look, Thanksgiving, he's giving turkeys away to in our hood. Like, if you did a video about my hood and this and that and then whoop de whoop whoop, but later on that year you went and did a turkey drive, and later on that year you did a, a Christmas toy drive for the kids, I you know, that would be highly respectful, bro. Giving back to the children, doing turkey drives for the families that are less fortunate. That that type of stuff right there, I think would turn a new leaf for Swamp Stories and would get, you know, that image cleared up that he has right now. Cause a lot of people, not just North Daniels, don't like this dude. The videos that he did and the things that he said within those videos. Swamp Stories, let's get it together, homie. Matter of fact, let me know. I'll go out there with you. You know what I'm saying? We can, we can, you feel me? Y'all tag Swamp Stories in the comments or however this works and let them know, man. You feel me? Let's give back to the community, homie. And uh, yeah, let's make it happen. Free Crip Mac. Y'all let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this a good look for uh, Swamp Stories? Would this, was this a good move? Is this a good move for Swamp Stories? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It's a kid and I'm go.